Hey, what's up, everyone? Sly and just finished watching the game. Niners win, but obviously we know the news. Hufanga most likely out for the season with the ACL. Absolutely heartbreaking. Great player. Having another solid season. I think got an interception last week. Man, dang, had to come like on a little basketball shimmy move where he wasn't even touched and he goes down. So obviously we got Jair Brown. And he played all right, but dang, sometimes he he did get toasted for that 40 yard gang and a few times he, you know, that one where I think Bosa hit him. And it could have been a penalty on him too. So, you know, he's a rookie, so he's gonna have those rookie mistakes. But I mean, we're trying to win a damn Super Bowl right now. So I'll say it, man. Jakowski Tart, man. Let's bring him back. <laughs> Let's go out and bring his ass back, man. Because I know everyone's pissed. Some people are pissed off him, blaming him for the NFC Championship. What was that, like 600 days ago? But, man, the guy, he never gets beat deep in coverage. Solid tackler. Amazing tackler. Uh, probably faster than Ufanga. Uh, doesn't have the instincts, maybe, as Ufanga, but solid ass safety. So, who knows what's going to happen, man. If I personally, I don't think that the Niners will bring him in just because I think Kyle Shanahan has that bitter taste, like, kind of blames him more than his play calling in that fourth quarter against the Rams in that NFC Championship game. But I've always liked <clears throat> Jakowski Tarp. Always thought he was a great at great player. Always probably always, in my opinion, every year he was there, he's probably one of the most underrated players on the team. So but I heard he's not retired. So <laughs> personally, if I'm the Niners, I'm calling him up and be like, hey man, give you a contract here, nothing big. But do you want to come and have a compete to chance to win the Super Bowl? See what he says. Because like I like Ja I I like Jair Brown. I really do, but I have a feeling he might get toasted a few times like bad. Um he got the nice interception again, but that came because of a hit. Or no, the ball was freaking hit off uh Greenlaw's helmet went right to him. So I mean it was a good play and all. But I mean I see I see that he has the ability to get toasted a lot. And I want a veteran out there. I really do. I don't have time for this. I don't have time to have rookies out there that maybe aren't ready, you know. If he was a Bosa caliber guy, that rookie right away, ready to go. But man, dang, it's just a unfortunate situation to be in. But if, if he can, man, if Kyle just gets his ego, throws it out to the side, at least give him a workout, see what he is. I know they, they did a workout a few weeks ago with, who remembers, Tavarius uh, Moore, who had the interception in the Super Bowl in 2019, they had a workout with him, and he looked, you know, he looked pretty good when he was with us. But the one thing with him was he took always took horrible angles. He always took horrible angles, and sometimes we would get beat for touchdowns because he just, he just, I don't know, he had brain farts, some shit, <laughs> where he just wasn't all that. But he was a speedster, that's for sure. So, I don't know, it's a tough situation to be in right now. Uh, halfway through the season, needing someone. Who knows? They may go with Odom, but Odom too, man. I like Odom, but I remember last year in preseason, sometimes he was just being torched. I mean, he's a good special teams player. He made a mistake today, but um, I just I don't trust Odom, man. I remember a few times in preseason he would get toasted quite a bit, take bad angles too, which is weird because he doesn't do that a lot in on special teams. So, I mean, it's a dilemma to be in right now. I'm not going to lie and sugarcoat it. But hopefully, hopefully we were able to fill that position. Because, you know, Hufanga, he he was, yeah, it sucks. He's a pretty, he's a sure tackler. And he just, he whiffed on that play. He got his ankles broken. He literally freaking tore his ACL on that play, man. Oh, man. Dang it. But. Who knows, man? Let us know what you think about this situation. Would you bring back Jakowski Tar? I would, man. I would bring him back in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. He's a solid safety, man. He has speed to him. 
I remember the first game he played in with the against I believe it was the Rams. He got a sack. He came in on blitz, and he's always been a solid ass player. So I don't know, Kyle John. We got to do something. We got to do something right now. I think they're gonna roll with the kid though. I really do think they're gonna roll with the kid, and to me that's scary. That's kind of scary <laughs> rolling with young Jair Brown, man. Ooh, man. Tough situation, man. The good news is they had been talking good this past two weeks about Jair Brown, that he's going to get more playing time. I don't think anyone expected it to be like this, though. For him to come in now and to be a starter like this. But who knows? I know they're going to have meetings. They're going to be talking. And I hope that Tart's name gets brought up. I just hope they bring him up, man, and be like, hey, let's give this guy a chance. He was always solid with us. Let bygones be bygones. And if Kyle wants to blame him for the NFC Championship game, fine. Let let him. But, dude, just let it go, man. Me, personally, I don't. I blame more Kyle on that than Tart for missing that interception. But dude, did he get toasted in that game? Has he did he ever does he ever get did he ever get toasted with the Niners? He would never really get toasted. He would always be there. Ball hog, deep balls. He'd be there. Breaking up passes. And that's all we need. We need a guy that's gonna make sure not to get beat deep. And he's not gonna get beat deep. Okay, he might not catch that interception, which he should have caught, but he ain't gonna get beat deep. He's gonna be a sure tackler. He's gonna bring that thump. Um, always be in the right position. Maybe cause a few turnovers because I know he likes thumping and I know he likes turn uh, making guys fumble. Man, that play where he made DK Mid Metcalf, he just grabbed the ball from him and just yanked it away. Who remembers that play with Jakowski Tart where DK Metcalf is just running. He's running for a touchdown before half and freaking Jakowski Tart just grabs that ball and takes it away from him. So, I mean, he's a solid-ass player, and if we did bring him in, I would be pretty confident. Like, all right, all right, like, we're still we're still good. Like, we aren't going to lose that much of a, a beat. But, um, I mean, it's hard, man. It's really hard losing a pro bowler from a pro bowl, you know, safety to a rookie, a third-round pick later in the third round. Man. Here's the keys, man. Here you go. So, and the, when the first place he comes in, he gets toasted. It's it's nerve wracking, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna come out here sugarcoating and be like, "Oh, we're good with Jair Brown, man. He's a freaking rookie." I don't. And the thing is, it's such. There's gonna be so much high expectations for this kid to come in and be like, "You have to step in and you can't be making stupid mistakes." We we're trying to win a damn Super Bowl here, so, oh, it's just a bad situation, but. It is what it is. Let me know what you think. Would you bring Tart in? Because right now we need a safety bat. After what happened to Ufanga. Let me know down below. And I'll read your comments. And <clears throat> Dang. Tough situation. But go Niners. Peace.